Good afternoon, More Medic One. Today, how many of y'all have had this problem? Oh no! I pulled the rope out. Well, the rope breaks usually at the rope rotor down there inside where the uh, rope ties the knot into the rope rotor. It usually breaks about a one inch out of there. Uh, normally the reason it breaks is because they put a four foot rope and most American grown men have a six foot arm and it, they'll just pull it all the way to the end of the rope rotor and it just breaks the rope or makes it weak and then it snaps but uh, I'm going to show you how to rewind this and uh, we'll see how it turns out go ahead and make sure there's no tension on the rope rotor and uh, go ahead and remove the uh, T20 Torx screw that's holds it on carefully kind of wiggle it jostle it don't let the spring come out with the rope rotor if it does get you a screwdriver or something and kind of help push it down in there remove the rope rotor and the screw as you can tell the reason we have to take this out is the rope is tied in a knot in the back side get you a scratch all or a pick or something and dig this rope out <clears throat> what you want to do next is you want to burn the end of this rope right here and uh, get it to a fine point Let's see if I can find my little torch here Don't burn yourself because that stuff is hot. Just kind of pull it to a point like that right there. Go ahead and feed your rope back down through. Now if you want to replace the rope that's fine. This rope is nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's good all the way up to the handle from that point. So what you want to do now is go ahead and feed that back down into the rope rotor. Just like you did before. Take your pick or a screwdriver or something and pull that rope up and out of there so you can tie your knot. I'm going to show you the knot that I like to use. Just a figure eight not okay once you do that go around and back through and that leaves a good solid uh, base for that rope to sit against when you pull it back through the uh, rope rotor <clears throat> pull it tight if you have a little bit left over that's okay you can tuck it and sh shove it down in there if you have too much it won't hurt you can always trim it off now, what you want to do is uh, once you get the rope in there get everything kind of situated because you don't want to put tension on it yet Go ahead and install your screw in the washer. This is a uh, home light chainsaw, by the way, model 3316. Now, here comes the part that most people don't understand when it comes to a starter rewind. What you want to do, you want to pull some of this rope out, and there's a notch right here in the rope rotor if you can see it right there you want to get this rope and you want to put it in that notch 
like that. You want to wind this spring until the tension there or the spring stops basically. That's good right there. Pull it tight. Let it suck the rope in. As you can tell, I have a little bit left over still. Repeat the process. Just wrap the spring one time. That's just about right. You don't want to go too much because if you get to the end of the rope, it gets to the end of the spring before you run out of rope and you'll break the spring. But that's it. If you have any questions on how to uh, rewind the starter on a pulling chainsaw, home light chainsaw, uh, even some of the steels are like this, Husqvarna's. Uh, this is uh, pretty much covers uh, the mass majority of home motor saws. So if you have any questions on how to rewind it, let me know. More Medic One. Y'all have a good day.